Hey there. I want to show you something that I think is absolutely amazing and a core reason why I can now say I love Gutenberg, right? It's been years and we've been going through this journey together and I just let me just show it to you, right? If you've read this recent post on membership and subscriptions, what you'll notice as you get partway down is this little guy right here. It has a little shading to it, a little background, a a border around it, and it says, do you want to know the right membership plugin for you? Because you're on a membership page, you're looking at membership plugins, and it's just, hey, I've compared 13 of the best. If you're at this article that talks about, hey, 11 features you need to have, you get partway down, and boom, there it is again. If you're at this, hey, are you looking at a membership you know, site in 2020, which was last year, and you get halfway down, and oh, there it is again, right? Same thing over here, it shows up. You're going to think, okay, so what? Do you just put the same little short code in each of these posts? Except when you come to look at this article about a very specific plugin, it's not there, right? Am I going and touching every single? This is another wish list one. But there's no reason to say, hey, let me take you away from looking at this one product to go look at 13 others, right? And so it, it doesn't make sense. It especially doesn't make sense when I'm talking about the actual article, right? The one that in the other places I would point you to, I don't wanna stick it in there, right? So that, that doesn't make sense. So how is this all working out? Well, I'm using a theme called Bloxy. You can do this with others, I'm sure. I'm just showing you um, how I've done it here. And, and the nuance of what I've done with Bloxy is super awesome because of features they've released recently. So they have something called Content Blocks. Think of this as just, hey, create something in Gutenberg, create its own item, and then you can put it anywhere you want. For example, I have a Clarity where I, I take phone calls and give advice. I have a Clarity ad, if you will, um, at the bottom of every page. And then I have an affiliate notice at the bottom of every blog post. And I have uh, the topics, top topics of my blog only on the blog page, right? So you can do these things, right? Where you design something, create something, and then stick it somewhere. This is my membership recommendation um, block, right? And this block, right? I get to design it like anything else. It's a normal block. You go, okay, I want to put a border on it, and I want to put a little shading behind it, and I want to link to something. Great. But look over here, right? Where it says, where do you want it? Location. And I say, before heading number three right? So this option is before a certain number of headings and heading number three. Now, you can do this with Optin Monster, right? You can say, hey, put something. So it, this isn't the first time you do it, but this is native to the theme. No extra plugin, right? No ad plugin, no anything else. It's native. I say, put it there, and I want to include it only on posts with a taxonomy ID of membership sites. So if you're looking at other stuff, I don't want to stick it in there, right? and exclude a couple of these other posts where I can choose specifically. And that little screen right there gives this bit of content, this Gutenberg block, the freedom to exist in the places where I want it to and not where I don't with just a little bit of configuration. Now, I can also put an expiration date and time. So if I was announcing uh, that my, the applications to my conference, CloudPress, were open, I could do that and then say, hey, uh, at the end of at the end of February, make it disappear, right? Expire it because I don't want anyone else to even try and apply. So this is incredible. This is what we said when we said everything would be a block, right? When we first heard that, my mind went to this. You mean I can take and craft content and then just tell it where to go, where to sit with some dynamic rules? It's fantastic and it's here. Check it out.